that there's a hole in the arm code, so it's, it's they're going to have to replace that whole section of arm oh, code. Good. Oh, that's a pricey wreck. Yeah. Both the car and the track. Right. Yeah. Because what is is that? Is that Armco? Is that guardrail? What is? It's something like twelve hundred dollars per whatever. To, oh no, Armco is not that much, right? Uh, why are you looking at me, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> Have you replaced parts out here before? <laughs> um, if I, you had to have an educated guess. If I had to have an educated guess, I would say to you sometimes they like don't actually uh, track um, who um, bent hard. certain. <laughs> Parts of the near track <laughs> uh, equipment. Oh, I, there uh, there's the car. Yikes. Oh, holy. Right. They hit that car. They hit whatever they hit hard. Someone hit the wall. There's a hole in the armco. So they have to replace the whole section. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. fit this platform great but uh, the halo just I didn't enjoy it on the street so I thought I could switch to w, uh, WCR WRC WRCR yeah, like yeah. OMPC which has the open no halo right and I ordered XL because that fits me in the hips I'm a bigger gentleman and uh, they wouldn't fit in this chassis they'll fit in a fifth gen but they won't fit in a six I learned the hard way I didn't measure so 580 to 585 millimeters is as wide as you want to go. They're like 620 and they just barely don't fit. I could have pulled off the door cards, but I, I didn't. I sold them and um, I haven't picked the right seat for me. I think I'm going to go with the Cobra Suzuka GT, but... What, what is this? We're, uh, we're Edge Addicts? Yep. It's March 14th. It's March 14th, so it's not Friday the 13th, so everything should be okay. It should be okay. Uh, You've already done uh, 222. Yeah, uh, new two, personal best. Yep, yeah, uh, 222. So flying, man. So now I think, if I'm not mistaken, that makes this the first and second fastest Camaro. And third, I guess. Well, Scott did a 219 on the three oh, yeah, R's and, and the 220 on the uh, 221. Three R's in the hand or the Kumhose. Yeah, and, and then, then he did a 220 on the 221 officially was it yeah he didn't ever get a 220 because he went four off oh, well did 221 on ao 52s now you've done a 222 on hand cook slicks slicks <laughs> blue dragon setting all kinds of records we're gonna try to go out and so the goal is actually to beat scott's time we'll see how close we get so we have scott's to run 219, a, scott's 219 so i have to run a 218 and then i've told scott he's not allowed to drive the car anymore <laughs> so <laughs> because that then, no, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that seems right. At that point, I'm not letting anybody else. Once I have the fastest time, nobody else is driving. The Blue Dragon. I'm Brought a, to you by APR Performance. I'm a huge fan of this car. Rules Automotive. I just have to make sure and avoid that turtle in 11. <laughs> yeah, don't hit the turtles. Oh, I see. <laughs> the turtles are huge today in 11, anyway. They, 11 uh, and. I think they said 11 and 20. They'll definitely uh, mess up your stuff.
Actually, but it's not loose on the terminal itself. It's just, it's just that plastic thing that's loose, yeah. It's not loose on the terminal. Oh, but, huh, but look at this. Ground is loose? Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. Well, but no, that's not the... It's not loose. It's the, it's the adapter that's loose. On the battery? On the battery, yeah. So look. See, it's spinning this thing. So we'll loosen it, tighten it up, and put it back on. It's still probably in the ground. So I've got it tight now. Hey, what I'll do is I'll go try to put some up. Is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. Oh, no. No, that's fine. I, I got it tight now, so I'll just check it periodically and make sure it stays tight. So, if this cable is what's kind of tugging it around and it's going to loosen it back up again. Right. I'd rather try to tighten the post and then find a good spot for that cable that it might right. not want to move. Okay, so that is a... Is that 8 millimeter? I don't even know if I have an 8 millimeter. What happened? Uh, went into limp mode down the back straight again. Kind of like we did when we were doing super loud. So that time... That time it was a, we think it was a battery post because we swapped battery, we, we tightened it back up and it was fine. So I'm going to try to do the same thing again. Hopefully that's all it is. The, the ground was kind of, wasn't, I don't know. Who knows with power stuff, it's so weird.
Daisy. So what happened? So on the outlap, there was a Porsche GT2 RS. Just up my ass on the outlap. You know, we're supposed to no passing. You're supposed to get up to speed. So finally, he was just, so he kept pulling out like I was supposed to let him by. So finally, on the back straight, I'm like, you know what? Go. I don't care. But then, as soon as he gets past me and we go hot, and I, by the S's, I'm in his ass, and he does not let me go by for two laps. So I finally left the GT3 RS, who has now caught us, because Miss Daisy is leading a freaking train. So I slow down, so I slow down, let the GT3 RS, thinking maybe Porsche to Porsche, she'll let the Porsche pass. Hell no, he doesn't let him pass either. So then I catch them both again, because again, we're running a train, led by a GT2 RS, wherever it is, it's a gray one. I don't remember the number. Did the car go into limp mode? No, it did not go into limp mode. So, but I was going slow too, so. Uh, so we don't know. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think. I think it was. Uh, um, I think it could have been either one of the things, but it's not happening now. So at least it didn't on that session. That's why I was. So I ran a twenty, a twenty-five following Miss Daisy. Uh, it would have been significantly faster. Um, so we didn't make. A, we didn't manage to get the eighteen that we wanted. Um, the last session there's too much traffic. I kept catching cars. But it was a I mean I ran back to back twenty twos, which And you ran a twenty yesterday. And I ran a twenty yesterday. So that's good. Yeah. So uh twenty yesterday, back to back twenty twos in that session, so that's shows that I'm driving consistently for sure and consistently fast. But it did go into limp mode again. Yeah, and so on the back straight, uh right as I topped out in fifth gear it went into limp mode again. So I don't know if it's a fuel thing, because I did you know, I had 93 earlier, and uh, anyway, I'll have to, damn it, and John's not here, I can't clear those codes. <laughs> uh, so, we'll have to figure out what that is, if that's a, a fuel starvation issue. It's kind of becoming a little yeah, bit of a bitch. Yes, it is, it happens regularly. So, maybe it's a fuel starvation issue, and we can address that by either uh, putting a cam in it, or... Big cam? Yeah. Injectors, fuel pump? Yeah. Run so full E. Yeah. So what is that about? Probably 900-ish wheel horsepower. Four grand to put it all together. Some, at least, probably. Yeah. So that's probably what's next if we want to go even faster and reliably, you know, instead of going into limp mode regularly. Or I just have to run. I get what I could have done. I guess is buy. They have 101 up there at the track. It's eight yeah. bucks a gallon. Yeah. I could have done that, but I just did the 93. So. Is it tuned for 101? No, it's eight bucks. No, is it tuned? Oh, it's tuned. Hard. Oh, no, but, well, so it'll... But will it, is it flex fuel like 93 and E85? So, basically, it, it measures the octane and alcohol content, I think, and adjusts timing based on that, so... Um, but I think it would take less 110 octane fuel than it would, or 101 octane fuel than it would 93 octane fuel, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Me neither. Tuning cars is a mystery to me. Yes, it is. It's like voodoo and black magic, which I think are the same thing, but anyway. Something like that. Uh, well, guys, that's going to do it for this upload. Thank you for watching. Please take care. Subscribe. Share. Have a great day. <laughs> that last shot broke your camera, dude.